Butch LaFontaine's motor generator. Butch has designed an intriguing motor generator system based on the balancing of magnetic and electrical forces. This clever design operates according to the following statements made by Butch. 1. If a magnet is moved away from an iron cord coil, it generates a voltage. Coils voltage generated. Iron core. Rotors magnet. The voltage generated for any given magnet and speed of movement, is directly proportional to the number of turns of wire which make up the coil. 2. If a magnet is moved away from an air cord coil, it also generates a voltage. However, the big difference is that the voltage is of the opposite polarity. In other words, the plus and minus connections are swapped over. Again, the voltage generated for any given magnet and speed of movement, is directly proportional to the number of turns of wire which make up the coil. So, if these two arrangements are joined together, they produce a system where the voltages cancel each other exactly, provided that the number of turns in each coil are adjusted to produce exactly the same voltages. The mechanical attraction and repulsion forces also balance, so the circuit can be arranged to have no net effect when the rotor is rotated. It follows then, that this motor arrangement could be introduced into an existing circuit without affecting the operation of that circuit. The arrangement would look like this. Here, there is no net electrical or magnetic drag on the rotor as the magnets move away from the coils. The battery supplies current to the load in the normal way and rotor arrangement has no effect on the operation of the circuit. However, when the rotor reaches 100 degrees or so, past the coils, the on-off switch can be opened. This leaves the rotor in an unbalanced condition, with there being an attraction between one magnet and the iron core of one coil. There is no matching repulsion between the other magnet and the air core of the other coil. This produces a rotational force on the rotor shaft, keeping it spinning and providing useful mechanical power which can be used to generate additional power. This extra mechanical power is effectively free, as the original circuit is not affected by the inclusion of the rotor system. From a practical point of view, to give high rotational speed and long reliable life, the on-off switch would need to be an FET transistor with electronic timing related to the rotor position. There is no need for the rotor to have only two magnets. It would be more efficient if it had four. Or better still, eight. And if you are going to have eight, there is no need to have the V-shaped cutouts which just create turbulence when spinning, so make the rotor circular. And the stator supporting the coils matches the rotor. Ferrite is a better material for the cores of the coils. The stators go each side of the rotors and the hole in the middle of the stators is to give clearance for the shaft on which the rotors are mounted. A system of this type needs accurate timing which is solely related to the rate of rotation. This is best arranged by the use of a bistable multivibrator as described in the electronics tutorial of chapter 12. You will notice the two timing coils shown at the right hand side of the diagram above. These are used to toggle the bistable on and off and they are adjustable in position so that both the on and the off can be set very precisely. The output of the bistable is set to switch an FET transistor on and off to give circuit switching which is not affected by either the switching rate or the number of times the switch is operated. The rotor-stator combination can be wired to act as either a driving motor or an electrical generator. The difference is the addition of one diode. Wired as a motor. With this arrangement, for each rotor, all four pairs of cord coils are wired in parallel across each other, and all four air cord coils are wired in parallel across each other. To improve the clarity, the above diagram shows only one of the four pairs, but in reality, there will be four wires coming into the left-hand side of each of the screw terminals. In the case of the generator arrangement, you have the option to connect each of the four pairs in parallel as in the motor arrangement or to connect them in series. Connected in parallel, the coils can sustain a greater current draw, while if connected in series, they provide a higher voltage. The voltage could be further increased by increasing the number of turns on each coil.